Sony has unveiled its latest flagship smartphone, the Xperia 1 7, which channels tech and expertise directly from Sony's own renowned Alpha Camera division. The Xperia 1 7 adds a new 16mm ultra wide lens to the standard 24mm and 48mm focal lengths, with Sony saying that the telephoto lens features true optical zoom from 85 to 170mm. The new 16mm ultra wide lens features a 48 megapixel 1 over 1.56 inch sensor that's double the size of its predecessor, while the 24mm lens is equipped with a 1 over 1.35 inch Exmor T for mobile sensor. Sony claims both cameras can deliver night shooting equivalent to full frame cameras, with low noise and wide dynamic range all in a little phone. That's what they say anyway, although the early reviews do seem to agree with this. All lenses feature Zeiss T anti-reflective coating for superior optical quality by minimizing unwanted lens effects. On the front, you have a standard 24mm camera that handles selfies and video calls. As expected nowadays, AI-powered features enhance video stabilization and framing alongside eye autofocus technology. But the most interesting part is how the Alpha-inspired Sony smartphone merges professional camera DNA with familiar menu structures, creative look options, and S-Cine tone color profiles serving alpha camera aesthetics in a smartphone shell. Sony has redesigned the physical shutter button, enlarging it for two-stage operation, half press to lock focus, and press and hold to launch the camera, even with the screen off. Under the hood, the Xperia 17 packs a Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset, a 120Hz Full HD Plus HDR display, plus expandable storage via microSD, and even a gosh darn wonderful headphone jack. Yes! Performance-wise, the Xperia 1 7 shoots up to 30 frames per second with AFAE burst capabilities and captures video at 4K 120fps HDR. Continuing its trend from the previous Xperia 1 6, Sony will not release the Xperia 1 7 in the US market, but it will be available elsewhere, priced at approximately £1,399. For more information on this and so much more, head on over to RedSharkNews.com.